Let us look at some of the more common post-hanging queries relating to wallpaper. Remembering that none of the complaints identified here can be remedied after the event, it's therefore important to understand the causes and follow good practice to avoid them in the first instance. The major cause of colour fading on wallpaper is sunlight. Ultraviolet wavelengths in sunlight can attack the pigments used in printing inks. Fading of wallpaper is generally more common where it's subjected to continued exposure to sunlight. In the Northern Hemisphere, for example, this would be at a south-facing window. Interestingly, when printing inks are affected by sunlight, it's not necessarily the dark colours which fade first, but the lighter ones, such as pale yellows, pinks and greens, etc. This is because the darker the pigment used to make a colour, the more inherent UV protection it has within it. The paler the colour, the less natural protection, thus it fades easier. Paste attack is where the face of the paper looks as though it has been eaten away, giving the impression the paper has started to break up. Depending on the circumstances, it can show itself anything from a few months to as long as four or five years. Paste attack is a clear sign that wallpaper adhesive has been left on the surface of the paper, and this now dry adhesive fixes itself firmly to the face of the paper and flexes over time to the constant changes in room temperature and humidity. This flexing can lead to the coating of the paper cracking off, taking both the adhesive and the printing ink with it. It is therefore important that adhesive is diluted from the face of the paper with plenty of water at the hanging stage, whilst that adhesive is still wet. Adhesive should never be allowed to dry on the surface of a wall covering. Opened up joins, or shrink back gap, normally around one millimetre in width, is directly attributable to inappropriate preparation. As we now know, wallpaper expands when it's pasted with adhesive, and it will look to pull back to its original size as it starts to dry out. This process of shrinking back will happen if the adhesion is insufficient to hold the paper in its fully expanded state once it's been applied to the wall. Shrinkback can be singularly attributed to a number of factors, either inappropriate adhesive type, lack of wall preparation, excessive heat during the drying period, or a combination of these. The best advice we can offer to reduce the risk of shrinkback is to use a suitably heavy adhesive, such as the light ready mix type, cross-line the wall, and keep the room at a comfortable temperature for the duration of the drying period. This drying period may be as low as 24 hours for paper, to as much as five to six days for a vinyl wall covering. Joins which have overlapped or buckled up proud of the surface will have been caused by the paper continuing to expand after it has been applied to the wall. Wallpaper will only expand a fixed amount before it stabilizes, therefore, this would suggest that the soak time was not adhered to and the paper had been applied to the wall before it had finished its expansion. Peeling paper, where paper curls away from the wall, is generally attributable to a heat source and in this case to the heat generated behind the radiator. All starch based adhesives but particularly the powder type, break down after a period of time if subjected to heat. In the case of severe heat behind a radiator, this breaking down can sometimes be only a matter of weeks, particularly so if a poor quality adhesive has been used. Whilst there can be no guarantee that wallpaper won't peel away under these extreme circumstances, we can do things that will reduce the possibility or the severity of it happening. 
Firstly, if possible, remove the radiators and ensure that the wall is papered with complete lengths rather than the method of tucking pieces behind the radiator that's been left in situ. Secondly, apply either a PVA adhesive or a heavy contract grade adhesive direct to the wall just prior to hanging. This will then blend in with the adhesive that's on the back of the paper, creating a much stronger bond. However, do not use a PVA or a heavy contract adhesive directly on the back of the wallpaper, as this will cause difficulties with the paper itself. Finally, to allow the paper to fully dry out naturally, turn the radiators off. There are two likely causes for shiny patches. It may be that the joins have been excessively rubbed, particularly at the edges, with a dry cloth, effectively buffing the face of the paper and making it appear shiny. More likely though, it is adhesive that's been left on the face of the paper that has been allowed to dry out. The shiny effect is particularly noticeable if you view the wall at a tight angle into a light source such as a window. Alternatively, it'll be seen as shiny smears across the paper face, which would indicate that the water used for washing down was contaminated with adhesive. As well as being unsightly, it could ultimately lead to paste attack, as previously explained. Make sure that you regularly change the water in a bucket to avoid this happening. Mould is a natural spore that can develop if it's exposed to two critical elements, water and something organic to feed on. With wallpaper, of course, we have both of these in abundance, and if allowed to do so, mould will flourish. In particular, mould is often seen around cold drafty windows where there's condensation or poorly ventilated rooms like bathrooms and kitchens. Any wall that shows evidence of having a damp problem, for whatever reason, needs to be remedied at source before you start decorating. The walls must then be allowed to fully dry out before that decoration can proceed. Generally, all but the very specialist of adhesives will have fungicide protection in them. However, its content is limited as it's intended to protect the adhesive whilst it's stored in the tub, extending only to cover the drying period once the paper's been hung. Any surface that's been previously contaminated with mould should be treated separately with a commercially available fungicidal wash. There may well be other questions you are asked by your client, but these are the main issues which arise time and again. Hopefully by knowing the reasons why they occur, you will be able to maintain a good relationship with your client. However, remember that the most important thing to any wallpaper decoration is preparation Preparation, preparation. Well, that's it. We hope you've enjoyed the masterclass in wallpaper decoration and we hope you've enjoyed the film. If you do require additional information, then please do visit the websites. In the meantime, good luck, thank you very much, and happy decorating.